Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Glossuta Original Senator Chronograph Panorama Date. You can see this beautiful automatic winding blue loom flyback chronograph in steel on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally, complete pricing details for this Glossuta Original Senator Chronograph Panorama Date. Now, this model debuted at Basel World 2017, featuring the in house caliber 3701 70 hour flyback automatic chronograph and a case that is handsomely detailed, aesthetically versatile, and easy to wear from an ergonomic standpoint. It's a big watch, but not overpowering at 42 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown. Now the watch is thick, but not overbearingly so. 14.9, you can see it does have a generously sloped double stepped bezel that will help a suit jacket or sport jacket or blazer cuff to ride up and over. It might not fit underneath the dress sleeve beneath, but once the watch is under a cuff, you have a compatible formal attire timepiece. Now from lug to lug, it's quite reasonable. Under 49 millimeters is a laudable and a 42 millimeter round case. So 48.8 millimeters across the wrist. It has a planted stance thanks to short cropped and tightly curved lugs. Though my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, I believe you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters in circumference with security. Now we may as well open up the clasp and take a look at the strap because it's a little bit more I would say playful than you might expect from a Teutonic watch manufacturer. The dial has a gorgeous cyan blue tone to its Luminova, and you can see the same treatment in the contrasting thread of the strap. First, let me show you just how short those lugs are. I told you they were tightly downturned and short, and you can see they barely exit from the case band. They turn 90 degrees from the horizontal sweep of the case band. This is an easy watch to wear on a small wrist, no constraint to the movement of the strap. And as you can see, there's actually a small recess on both sides sides within the case to allow the strap a full range of motion without becoming constrained against the size of the case. I told you the watch is charming and perhaps a little bit more cheerful and playful than you'd expect from a German watch, but make, make no mistake, the engineering is very German in sensibility and substance. The strap is very soft. That contrasting cyan blue stitch flanks a center with a smooth grain. It has a, it has a a dark coloration about it, but a matte finish. So it doesn't look excessively formal. I believe shiny would be too much, semi-gloss would be too much, matte is just perfect. Now you can see it's a black strap with a contrasting cyan stitch and a matching calfskin on the bottom with a very substantial clasp, which is double finished. As you can see, it's media blasted on one side, polished on the other, and very secure when closed. An extra measure of both durability and peace of mind when donning or removing at bedside. I prefer to see deploying clasps on expensive watches, Geo delivering so far with an excellent clasp that is both substantial and nicely made. The case band is thoughtfully finished. It is a little bit chunky, but you can see the contrasting finish, polish and satin, breaks it up well. Now, a few things to note, you can see that there is a little bit of a curvature to the junction of lug and case. It's not a straight junction, it's actually arced down somewhat. That's why it has the appearance of being somewhat diagonal relative to the sweep of the case band. You also note the double step to the polish of the bezel, the polish of the lug hoods, and then a very small transitional bevel from the lug hoods to the lug flank. There's a strong character line, as I pointed out, between lug and case band. And then you have a few junction lines created by the junction of case back and case band and bezel and case band. You can also see that there is a pusher corrector on the flank that's used to adjust the grand date, or I should say panorama datum because we are in Glasuta at six o'clock. The dial is matte black for the sake of minimal glare and cyan on black for the sake of maximum contrast. Now, the blue coloration was not necessary in order to produce the contrast, but to produce the color and the charm, it's absolutely mandatory. It's fun to see and it has a distinctive ambiance when it glows at night. Stay tuned to the video to see a loom shot toward the end. You can see all of the registers and the panorama datum are countersunk somewhat to various degrees. The registers lightly recessed, the date actually double stepped and then stepped a third time leading down to the plane of the double date discs. Now the watch features a very subtle and blink if you'll miss it power reserve. You can see it in the upper left quarter 
of the constant seconds dial. Now you'll watch, you see that little Nike swoosh in white? Let me get closer and focus everything. Okay, now you can see that little white square as I thread out the crown for this is a 100 meter water resistant watch. You'll see that little white square disappear as I wind the watch. So it has a power reserve scale on the dial that is incredibly unobtrusive, almost to the point of disappearing. But if you know the watch well, then you'll look for it. Now you can see chronograph hours, chronograph minutes up to 30, and of course the panorama datum, a broad, beautifully sweeping, cyan colored, geo counterweighted. Lancet style seconds hand with kite style hands with abundant luminova and an easy to read seconds and minutes track outboard with stylized romans at 6 and 12. It's a beautifully balanced cruciform layout for this dial. Now turn the watch over and you can see that the lozenge style pushers are designed to evoke vintage watches and that they do effectively but it is a modern timepiece and you realize that to best effect when you look at the case back and now you see the contemporary caliber 3701. So let me see if I can get any closer. That's it, that's kind of the extremity of my focus. But I'm gonna give you a good view of this movement because it certainly deserves it. Nicely executed, you can see the style is German. So you have the simulation of a three-quarter bridge in homage to the pocket watch era. You can see the double spiral that is distinctive of Glossuta Original reduction wheels. Almost every automatic that they've made in the modern era has had that highly stylized double spiral finished by hand. You can see that all the screws are the old school heat oxidized kiln fired blue screws rather than chemically dyed. And you'll note that there is glossuta ribbing across both the winding mass and the bridges. There's a black polished swan's neck regulator on top of a balance that is free sprung. The swan's neck is locked in place and used I believe only for beat error adjustments. You can see the column wheel of the chronograph as well as a unique on off indicator. Now I'm gonna show you something that's a little bit weird. There is a microscopic plate next to this rocking lever. One side says on, one side says off. You might just be able to see it, but you'll note that as I cycle the chronograph on and off, the rocker moves from on to off and back again. I've never seen anything like this, a display case back with an on-off indicator for the chronograph, but I will say this, in conjunction with the horns, levers, and column wheel of the chronograph, you have a very crisp action. You feel it, you hear it. Pusher feel for a chronograph is as important as bezel detent for a dive watch. So you wanna know that when you're buying a chronograph, you get one that's a pleasure to use. Not only is it, but it has the additional refinement on top of the power reserve scale, the free sprung architecture, the automatic winding, the 70 hour power reserve, the 100 meter water resistance. It's a flyback. So you can time two events in rapid succession when you need to restart and reset with a single push of a single button this watch has that capability. Again, nothing on the dial, nothing on the case back to advertise it, but this is a watch that under promises and over delivers in almost every respect. Easy to wear, incredibly handsome, mechanically sophisticated, and with 100 meter water resistance, throw this one on a NATO and it changes its entire character and functionality. Possibly the only watch you'll ever need. You can see and you can own this Glossuta Original Senator Chronograph Panorama Datum on our website. All right, now we're looking at the Glossuta Original Senator Chronograph Panorama Date. Loom shot to prove that this watch, 100 meters water resistant, is also sporting in its disposition when the light goes out and the sun falls. This is a watch you can read in any light. You'll note the dial, the same color by night as it is by day, a beautiful blue cyan. Moreover, you'll note that that extraordinary fully loomed chronograph seconds hand is also fully visible at night. One of the only cases I've seen of a chronograph seconds hand that is entirely luminescent across its entire length around its entire longitudinal circumference. A watch that's free sprung and therefore tough, 100 meters water resistant and therefore reliable, and fully loomed so you can see it in any light. This is a watch you could wear in formal attire, but it's best regarded as an all-arounder, and here is the proof.